Hello everyone. Hello, 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 hello. My name is Khawale. I'm so grateful to be here with you. I have got challenges with my network. I tried to do my Facebook live earlier on, but it seemed that the videos were not clear. Uh, so I had to do another, at least recording for you guys, because I promise that I'm going to always be here for you guys. Otherwise, hello. We are here to awaken and unleash our potential and to manifest our dream lives. I promise I'm going to take you through this awakening journey for 40 days. So today is day zero. It's just an introduction of what is going to happen for the course of this 40 days. Okay, so life is a chain. No one is going to save you. It's you who needs to be here for own self. It's, who, it's you who needs to show up for own self because no one is going to save you. And you have to commit to be yourself, to be your best. All right, we will be looking at four steps during our 40 days of awakening. The first step is decide. Decide that you are going to wake up. Decide that you're going to be the person that you have long wanted to become. Secondly, is reprogram. We are going to reprogram our subconscious mind. And then the third step is align. Align with your real self. And then the fourth thing is affirm. The first step is affirm. So in this 40 days, we are each and every day we are going to talk either on deciding or reprogramming or aligning, or affirming. So the first step, which is deciding, is that you have to decide to wake up. It begins with your decision to wake up, to, to be the person that you have long wanted to become. And this is all about changing your reality. It's all about understanding your own belief systems. Some belief systems are limiting you. So it's only you who can awaken and decide to release certain limiting beliefs. And it's only you who needs to decide to understand the relative truth from absolute truth. We have seen so many people who have held their life back because of the relative truth. The perceptions out there. They, they don't like you. That's a perception. So it's up to now, it's up to you to understand the truth. The truth is that you are a spiritual being you're so powerful. That's the absolute truth. You're a child of God. And the relative truth is that you are thin. It's, it's just a, a summer's perception about the body weight. Oh, you are ugly. It's just a perception. Or oh, an intelligence. It's someone's perception about you. So you have to discover how living that truth will set you free. Living the truth of that you are an individual who has so much power within yourself. So decide to wake up from the slumber and be the person they've been called to. And then the second step is reprogramming. We have been programmed as we are growing up in so many areas of our life. Our culture has, has programmed us, church, at school, even at home. 
There's so many problems within us. Some of them, of course, they help us as we're growing up. But some of them, it's time for you to let them go. It's time for you to let go of fixed ideas about yourself, about life. As you peel back the layers of all you are not, you will learn how to reprogram your, to transform your trauma and birth your purpose. Trauma is a very holistic word. There's so many different of traumas. There were, we have got big traumas and small traumas. Small traumas are things that happened or didn't happen. And during that negative state, you decide certain things about yourself and about life. You were angry that your mother didn't pick you, or your mother didn't come for a, for a meeting at school. During that time, you decide certain things. During that anger time, you decide certain things about yourself. And those things are the ones that have been controlling your life in so many ways. And it's time for you to release all those limiting beliefs, all those commands within your system. It's time to unburden yourself from all this false identity that your mother doesn't like you. That's why she didn't come for a meet. It's just your own limiting beliefs. And then the third step is align. I want you to know that it's only you who can live in alignment. So be aligned within four areas of your life. The four areas are money and, and career. Who are you with when it comes to money? What limiting beliefs do you have around money? It's time for you to release all the limiting beliefs around money and career. You are not your, your career, you're not your job, you're not your nine to five. You have something within you. So it's time to go there and check what belief seems systems we have around career, around money. And it's time for you to release them. So during the 40 days, we're going to go there and help you to release the limiting beliefs around, around money. And the second area is love and, and relationships. You are your first lover. You are the first person that you have to learn how to relate with. If you fail to relate with yourself, who else can you relate with? We expect so many things from other people, whereas we have to do the job within ourselves. So you're going to learn the truth that the ultimate relationship is found within you. We have given away our power to so many people, to so many things outside ourselves, and we, ne we neglected ourselves. So it's time for you to learn to love yourself and accept yourself as you are. So as you look forward to this, I want to go deeper and learn how to be aligned to, to, to your love and relationships. And then health and wellness. 90% of diseases are from stress related. 90% of diseases are stress related. So we are, the, we are the ones who choose certain diseases for ourselves because we create the anger within ourselves. You can choose to be happy in spite of all the challenges because there's God up there who is there to help you, who, who is there to sustain you, whatever that you're going through. So choose to live a healthy life and choose to heal yourself by living a, a healthy and, 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 and being happy all the time. And the fourth, the fourth area is purpose and calling. We will be looking at how you can be aligned with your purpose and your calling. We all want to know our purpose. And the secret of that is going deeper and doing your inner work. You can be able to see the, inner, the things that have been there, the things that have been holding you back. But as you do your trauma work, you are able to see the identities that have been holding you, the limiting beliefs and the commands. And as you release them, as you heal, you will see the real you, the truth. And then the fourth step is affirm. Create your own vision. Fish, have a vision and look at it each, each and every day. Pray. 
God is there for, for you to help you. Meditate each and every day. And have affirmations each and every day as you, you awaken for who you really, really are. As you manifest the kind of life that you want. So during the 40 days, we'll be looking at these four steps each and every day. So I want you to invite as many people as you can share with other people for, because it's time for all of us to awaken for our truth, for who we really, really are. And then we live a peaceful and enjoyable and enjoy, enjoyable life. I'm so grateful that you are here. You're watching this video. I wanted more. Like I said, I wanted to do a Facebook live, but unfortunately I had uh, network challenges. I had to do something for you guys. Today, remember that it's, it's day zero. The introduction of a 40 days. So always be here on time. Always be here to share how you can awaken yourself. No one is going to save you. No one is going to help you to become the person that you're supposed to become. So live your life and be happy. Thank you. See you soon. All right.